Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Manaswini and I hope you all are doing well. The past week was very mentally exhausting. It was disturbing and I just did not feel like filming or just, you know, talking to the camera or doing anything honestly. Nothing just, you know, felt right. And I know most of you, most of you watching me are women. Most of our community is women and I know you're all feeling the same. I just hope that you are all taking care of yourself especially your mental health. I literally spent the last few days doing nothing and just thinking and overthinking and whatnot. I really had to take a break from social media to, you know, feel good enough to get back to work. So if, if you're not feeling well, you're not, you know, feeling okay, please take a break from your phone, take a break from social media and just breathe. There is a backlog of work. There are deadlines to meet and there are so many deadlines that I even missed this month. So today I'm going to try my best to get done as much as possible. And I thought I'll take you guys along because this is what brings me peace. I'm so grateful for all of you for this community of women who make me feel safe and who are my comfort zone. Thank you so much for sticking by, for always being here and being so patient with me with all of this going on if you ever need anyone to talk to you can always dm me on instagram like i'm friends with so many of you now it feels so good it's a very wholesome feeling to you know to have people to talk to on the internet good people in fact our community of more than fourteen thousand beautiful women just know that you have a safe space our comment sections they're just you know so free of hate and judgment vent if you want to if you're feeling stressed anxious you're feeling scared or not safe whatever you're feeling just put it down in the comment section below i'm sure we all can have a nice conversation and just you know share what we feel about whatever's going on or just you know our general lives i'm sure it's gonna help a lot of us out because i i totally get that there are so many people who are not able to have these conversations at home with their families so just you know, let your heart out, share whatever you want to, talk about whatever you want to. I'm sure everyone would participate and, you know, just I'm open to conversation. So let's just, you know, be there for each other. That's that's all I want. And if you don't want to talk, then make sure you're doing something that brings you peace. Because at this point, it is very, very important to take care of your mental health. So many of you also messaged me regarding the giveaway, but I really did not have the headspace to decide a winner or pack the gifts. So today, I'll, I'll make sure I add that to my to-do list today and get that done as well. Now, moving on to the plan of action for the day, I have to make sure that I get done with all the pending videos. And that's going to include filming, editing and scripting them. Apart from that, there are other things as well that I need to take care of. But I will be making a proper to-do list for these in a bit. Before that, um, I just got out of the shower. So I'm yet to do my skincare and I had a bunch of products, new skincare products. And I wanted to try them out with you. First, I have this COSRX Centella Water. It's an alcohol-free toner. Basically, my brother gifted me some skincare products for Raksha Bandhan. And this is one of them. The packaging is like the AHA BHA clarifying toner only. And I'm just gonna spray some on my face directly. It does feel refreshing and a little cooling as well. Then I have the I'm from Rice toner. Now I have tried this a lot before, but I was never convinced to get the full sized bottle. The texture is not like the um, Laneige cream skin. It's definitely lighter. But I still, you know, I'm not a fan of the feel of this toner. It definitely feels hydrating though. Now moving on to the product that I was the most excited about. It is the Mixoon Bean Essence. And this has been on my wish list for a really long time. And I'm really excited to finally try this. I'm so sorry for the changing lighting. That's because it's cloudy outside. So please don't mind. The texture is definitely slimy like the snail mucin. In fact, even slimier than that. The feel is also pretty similar. This bean essence is supposed to be hydrating as well as mildly exfoliating. So really excited to see what it does to my skin. I do feel these tiny particles on my skin. I don't know if it is the product pilling or it's just some gunk coming out of my skin. My skin feels pretty moisturized right now. So I'm gonna skip a moisturizer and directly go in with a sunscreen. And this is the clear filter sun essence and 
I have been really enjoying this. I mean, it is a sunscreen that I've, you know, really liked after a very long time. I haven't been very, you know, like impressed with any sunscreen in a while. But this one is really good. And I think this one is going to be a great pick for deeper skin tones. Because no matter how much you apply, there is going to be no white cast. This sunscreen is very popular in Korea and I totally understand why. For my lips, I'll be using this new lip oil tint. And this is in the shade, I don't know, sweet apple or something. I don't remember the name. The color does look very red for my liking. But let's see how it's on the lips. The feel of it is nice and it's very shiny. But the color is I don't know, it just looks very red on the camera. In real, it's not that red. So let's see how I'm going to use this. I like the texture though. I think that would be it for my skincare. Uh, my skin wasn't doing too well since July, honestly. But now it feels healthy. It feels fine. Along with my skincare, I've also started taking this skin collagen booster from New Herbs. This is in the mixed fruit flavor and I just mix it in water and have it after my breakfast. The right way to have it is actually 30 minutes after your meals. Now collagen can help improve skin's hydration levels, reduce dullness and also help reduce the signs of aging. They have a non-vegetarian variant but this one is 100% vegetarian. It is plant based and is a blend of fruits, vegetables and plant extracts. It has natural collagen boosters along with a very promising blend of natural antioxidants that include beet root powder, cranberry powder, spinach powder and pomegranate extract. It is free from any artificial preservatives and my favorite part is that there is no added sugar. I'll link it in the description below in case you want to try it out. I'll quickly finish this and also make my to-do list now. I'm done replying to all the emails and I also replied to some comments. Now I'm quickly gonna go and make something nice for lunch. I'm consciously trying to eat a lot more vegetables and you know a lot of fruits because in the last two months I haven't really eaten properly like not eaten nutritious meals. So I'm making a conscious effort to add more fruits and vegetables to my diet. Today I'm gonna make a really nice wholesome pasta. I'm gonna use spaghetti and a lot of vegetables and I'll, I'll show you in a bit how I make it. Before that, I wanted to show you some books that I got yesterday. I got four new books. These are the ones that I got and I just feel really nice getting them from a physical store because every time I go to a store, I just compare the price with Amazon and Amazon usually has books for much lower prices. So I never end up buying from a store and I just go home and order them from Amazon. But yesterday was different. I don't know. I just really felt like getting books without checking reviews and just, you know, felt like getting them there and then. The first one is How to Kill Your Family. It's by Bella Mackey. And um, months ago, I had seen Urmi reading this and she told me it's a funny book. It's a good read. So I finally got this. Then I got Then She Was Gone. It's a new author. I haven't read any books by her. So let's see how this is. It's probably a thriller. I read that this book is pretty addictive and also that if you're someone who liked reading Colleen Hoover, you'll also enjoy reading her. So I got two books by this uh, author. The first one is this, then she was gone. And the other one is called uh, The Family Upstairs. This is how it looks. And then I got one more book by Colleen Hoover and it is called Never Never. And yeah that's that's my mini book haul i've already started reading how to kill your family and i'll let you know what i feel about this one once i'm done reading it tell me in the comments what are you currently reading and also if you've read any of these which one is the best i'm now gonna go quickly change my outfit for the first shoot and also make lunch and eat lunch for this recipe you can either cook the vegetables first and then blend them into a paste or you can do it like me and blend them raw 
and then cook it all together i like to use bell peppers and carrots along with tomatoes garlic and also ginger other vegetables that go really well in this recipe are broccoli zucchini and also mushrooms but of course do not blend the mushrooms just let them be for spices i just added some black pepper powder oregano and red chili flakes at this point i'll add the spaghetti into this sauce and let it cook in it for 10 minutes and soak in all the flavor finished it off with some cheddar cheese and topped it off with some olives such a delicious and wholesome meal and a great way to consume all your vegetables i'm back i had my lunch and then filmed a video then i changed my clothes and now i'm filming the second one I'm literally filming um just you know right beside my TV and that's because there is no sun there is no sunlight and it's very cloudy outside so yeah the plain world to the rescue I film everything using this phone only so I won't be able to show you the entire thing sometimes I really think about it and I'm like most of the videos that you see have so much jugaad going on behind the scenes it's just it's crazy but anyway we'll talk about this some other day right now i'm going to go and shoot this second video so that we can move on to the next task Got done with all the filming and made myself this gorgeous coffee. My room is a mess right now. There are products everywhere, and also please ignore this missing painting from the background. It just fell off, and luckily not on our heads. And made myself this really nice filter coffee. And this, by the way, is from Juggernaut. If you are from Delhi, then you can go get it from Juggernaut in GK One. It's they sell it there. and i don't think it's available online though i'll check and let you know it is really really good and i'm not a coffee person i'm a chai person so once in a while when i decide to drink coffee i make sure that it is a good one so so good anyway i'm now going to go script and edit and while i do that i'm also going to watch um a new show in the background my mother in law is also free today so she's also watching something on tv i'm going to watch it with her and work while watching tv I really did not think that I'll get so much done today, but here we are. Most of my to-do list is done. Obviously, the movie is not happening because it's already 9:30 p.m. But I'm gonna get some yoga in and call it a day. But first, I will be cleaning my room because everything's a mess and I just I can't focus with my room like this. So I'm gonna clean it all up and do some yoga, then have dinner. I'll catch you in a bit. By this point I was so tired that I did not really want to put in a lot of effort into dinner. I had some leftover rice so quickly chopped my favorite vegetables and made a nice paneer fried rice. It is delicious and it only takes 10 minutes.